You know, I met Balanced View ten years ago, and um, in not a dissimilar situation to this, in an open meeting, and and meeting the teachers, meeting the community, being in this environment was really was really a new situation for me, and not just in the sort of setting, sitting in a teaching, and um, but also in how I saw how I saw I was treated, how people behaved towards me, and what I started to see about myself. And it's really spot on in the insight about the support being so empowering. It was a setting of complete empowerment, where really for the first time I was treated like a powerful human being. Now just to reflect on that for a moment, like treated like an empowered human being not treated like a victim of my experience. And, um, and that is what I saw role modelled around me in the other people as well. People that were deeply respecting themselves and others. And that came out in so many different ways. It came out in people's speech, it came out in people not criticising, not gossiping about each other. Now these were like very usual things. I mean, can anyone relate to that? <laughs> it was like a very normal way of relating for me was to, you know, use my speech in that way to like, criticise. I mean, it was, you know, it's what was going on inside my mind. It was criticism of myself or other people, seeing what was wrong, seeing how I needed to improve. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, healthy, <laughs> normal societal activity because you want to improve, right? So you need to see what's wrong and emphasise it. So this is just, you know, ways I'd learned to use my mind and in that way emphasised things that I thought were flawed about me or about situations. And there was this um, baseline, you could say, of um, fundamentally feeling something was wrong and it needed to be fixed. That in any given moment the thoughts or emotions that I could have just could be a sign of that. So anxiety could come up. No way. <laughs> no way, anxiety is not allowed to come up. I've been told all my life that this is a feeling I shouldn't have. The sensations in the body, the whirring thoughts, the paranoid ideas, like what are they thinking about me, oh my god I'm just a loser, I can't do this, I'm just going to look ridiculous, um, I just need to remove myself from the situation, just fearing it all and feeling a threat. A threat from other people, a threat from my thoughts and emotions. And I needed to respond and react to that and antidote it in some way, make that, those feelings go away. This anxiety had to be absent from my experience in order to feel like I was simply okay as a human being. And it could be many other thoughts and emotions that I had just put into the wrong box, you could say labelled as negative, labelled as something that I did not want to have occurring for me. And then coming into a situation like this, meeting the Balanced View training and being introduced to the nature of my mind, receiving for the very first time an education in the nature of my mind, has opened up an entirely new way of living. Entirely new way of living. Entirely new way of relating to myself and other people and the world one that is based on the fact of being fundamentally beneficial and empowered in every single moment, of there being nothing wrong with any thoughts and emotions that may arise. And this has changed my life completely into one of ease, relatability, um, empowerment, capacity to show up, capacity to love open-heartedly, fearlessly. And it's all just come about through this very simple teaching. An education that you could say, I feel like I was denied all my life. For the first 30 years of my life, de denied this. Absent, completely absent from my culture and my upbringing. I don't know how it's been for all of you. But for me, I never received this. And um, 
I was told that there were certain thoughts and emotions I needed to keep in place, the positive ones, and I needed to get rid of the negative ones. That included about people and circumstances. And so my entire focus was placed upon this rearranging of my experience. And what we're introduced to here through the Balance You training is open intelligence is what is at the basis, what includes and subsumes all experience in any given moment. What is aware of this current moment, your power to know. And to introduce yourself to open intelligence, you simply stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Open intelligence. Alertness, clarity, cognizance. Intelligence that's open like a clear sky. Now this, whether the thoughts come back in or there's no thoughts, open intelligence remains. It's a more comprehensive type of intelligence. And you can check it out in any given moment, in a short moment, of recognizing open intelligence. Now that you've been introduced, you can recognize it any time you want. It's yours. <laughs> Nobody's giving it to you. It's already the case. And, um, and so in this moment right now, whatever the thoughts or emotions might be, just recognize, is open intelligence present? What knows this thought? What knows this thought arising? What knows it abiding? What knows it self-releasing on its own? Like mist in the air. And um, so in, in, any, in any moment of life we have just countless experiences, thoughts, emotions, perceptions, people, places, things, and in the teaching of Balanced View we just call this all data these events or phenomena that we perceive, data streaming in open intelligence. And the practice of short moments of open intelligence is whatever the data stream is that's arising for you in any moment, is just to rest mind and body for a short moment and recognize open intelligence. And to repeat this many times until open intelligence is obvious and primary all the time. And um, it's, it's the best, basically. We have incredible stability of mind as human beings. It's, it's innate, it's built in. We have incredible power. We have a capacity to be of benefit in any given moment. And as we tap into open intelligence, you will see this come to the fore. You will see this very obviously. And so whatever situation you might be in in life, you can test it out. You can test it out today to just recognize open intelligence for a short moment. And, you know, like I said, for me, it just, it'd been overlooked. I'd never been introduced. Focus had always been upon the data streams, upon describing them, upon classifying them into positive and negative, trying to get more of the positive, get rid of the negative, and playing life in this way, this game. And then to be introduced to open intelligence and simply rest. Rest at the basis of all experience in every moment. To allow mind to be completely open as it is, it already is like that, and allow the data streams simply to be as they are. And uh, this is for you to take away and practice. And. Um, you know, we through the, the balance you're teaching, it's, it, it offers a practice, it offers teaching, teacher and a community to really bring this recognition about in our lives. And it's, it's a field of empowerment, you could say, where, like I said, for the very first time, I, I was treated like this empowered human being, rather than being a victim to my data streams, that really seeing that my yeah, capacity to be of benefit in every single moment. And it was very new, and it took time to settle into. And also taking support, like having a trainer, 
So there's a very, there's an amazing teaching called the Twelve Empowerments and um, after completing the Twelve Empowerments you can be in touch with a personal trainer, your own personal trainer, ongoing support, like the most incredible relationship, um, completely available, someone that's completely available for your empowerment. And it took me a while to settle into this, like I'd never been offered that in my life. Like, it's, support had often come as people agreeing with me, that's what I thought support was, firstly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you tell me that my thoughts are right, or yeah, I am a victim, and um, that you need to fix yourself. And that was, you know, this is kind of how I took support to be, and now having a relationship with a, another human being who saw my greatness, like regardless of my data, so, you know, writing emails to my trainer, being in teachings to my trainer, and, and then seeing my, my incredible power and seeing my data streams as part of that, not seeing them as the problem. And also, but this incredible, you know, the amazing thing is that of being able to look so clearly at myself and not avoid uncomfortable data streams anymore, like anxiety or, um, you know, like frustration with situations in the family or things that I used to just, I just didn't want to have in my arena of experience. So I'd do everything I could to make it as pleasant as possible. And, um, and so really finding this capacity to face all data fully, to rely on open intelligence, to use the support of Balanced View, to have this stable ground to really experience life fully and experience the great empowerment and power that's there, the wisdom, the benefit, the capacity to respond, to, you know, we respond, and I'm sure that's exactly what you're doing, you're responding so naturally, you know, knowing when to speak up and intervene and knowing when not, and as, as a mother you will know that better than anyone with your children, and um, rather than perhaps always feeling to be involved in every moment, but really responding and seeing what will be em empowering and that's what I see also with the Four Mainstays is this, is this um, opportunity to be empowered and seeing how that's what I've experienced very much through the training is not, not to molly coddle myself but to see that I can experience all data fully, negative or positive, to allow it to be as it is. And within that, take greatest care. Naturally, instinctively, it's built in.